Hey guys, today I'm gonna tell you how to make a GFX for TPS. So basically, you have to open Roblox Studio. Then once you have downloaded, yeah, open that. We're going to an all templates. Press black cherry. Yes, let it load. You go to plugins, and then on the left side, the message models. You go to plugins there. And type in you have to moon and moon animation tool and it's this one and then the other one you have to uh, you have to load character light this one so uh, load character light you have to download those two then and once you've done that it should come up at the top of your plugins where all these things are so you go, you uh, put your name in, or do mine. Then you get out of you put spawn on R15. Don't put origin because it might go somewhere else. And if you do R6, you will, you will be able to bend the arms like and they make it look better. Then, once you've done that, you can see your outer. Then, after that, you press the moon animator, it should come up as this. You have you press you. I will bring it to the bottom so it doesn't come in any way. You press file, and where it says uh, all this, you press new animation. I'll type whatever. Once you've done that, when when you when you've done that, it says file all this thing, and then these come up. Press the t uh, plus in the top left here, and press your body. There, it should come up as that. And then press OK, and then you're ready. I'm just gonna make mine looking towards the camera. So I'm gonna put and then so press whatever body part of your body you want and move it wherever you want, like that. And then R15 is better because you can move the your wrist as well, like this, like that. It looks better like that. Look there. Then you um, put this a little down. A little bit there. Once I've done that, I'm going to put this a little up. Bring it down here. And then I'm going to pull like that. And pull this down a little down. Then I'm going to move my head shape and make it look towards me. You can do whatever way you want. You can do like bicep kicks, scorpion kicks, sli uh, knee slide, uh, etc. So then w once you've done that and you you want, you, you got your GFX where you want it to be like, you on the right way to the explorer, you wait, you're using it, right click it with your mouse. Not that. Right click it with your mouse you're using. Then out all the it's export selection. You do that. And you do it into your downloads. It comes up like this, and I made loads for others. So and I'm just gonna name this. So that. And then once you've done that, you have to down. You open Blender. I will put the link in for that. And once you download that, it should come up on the screen like this. Everything like this. So once you, do, you delete this cube in the middle, and then uh, top left this is file. You press that, press that, and you go to where it says import. Once you're on the import, go to wavefront obj. So it's file, import, wavefront obj. Once you do that, you go to download and issue code. Search for where your name is, uh, what is the effect of it. Like I see, I've made loads for this. This is mine, so I'll open and go that. Once that, it's your, it's not gonna, it's not gonna come straight away to you. It's gonna be somewhere else, and you're gonna have to move with the tools. Like, see, mine all the way down there. So I'm gonna zoom out. This is easier to move. And oops, that was not messed up on the top. And then on the left side, you can see those arrows and all the time. Press the move one with the arrows that go up and down, and then it should go up automatically. And I'm gonna move mine here. 
then I'm gonna move this all the way in the middle. Make sure it's in the middle so your cam so you can get it in front of your camera. And if it's not right, just keep moving it back and forth. Like that. Get it nailed down. Get it back. And like that I'm done. So now I'm gonna put it just put it a little bit back and I'm gonna get my camera here. I want, I've got my camera, I'm going to put it up to where I want it to be. Move it down. And then, uh, since it's not always going to be in the position you want, on the left side, there's uh, arrows, uh, these curvy arrows. You just press there and it's a rotate. So you could rotate your camera wherever you want it to be. That's the wrong side, so I'm going to do it this way. And then I'm going to put it up so my, I can see my camera. I like that, so my camera is straight. And then once, and then you can keep it how you want it to be. Because if you don't like it, you can always keep checking. And if it's too big or too low, you can keep moving it again. Like this. And since that's too big, I'm going to keep going it down. Right. There. And there. That looks perfect. It's a little too high. And since it's a little too high, I'm going to do that and that looks a bit perfect I'm just gonna move it up and that is perfect now once you've done that um on the right hand side where all these are you go to this bottom the bottom part of the right all this and where it says that where it looks like a radio box you press that and you should say scene at the top and this and render engine you press the ev one and press cycles. Once you press cycles, uh, once you set it to cycles, you go to device, CPU, put it to GPU, GPU compute. Once that has, you done that, it should come like this. And then when it says sampling viewport, you press denoise this part. Once you press denoise, it's good. Then you go all the way down to film, where all this like advanced. And then once you press film, it should say transparent. Press the transparent button and it's perfect then you once you've done that you can go back to your camera and then the top right where this bubble is with the little spice and light is there you press that and your gfx will come up if you think your gfx is too dark uh, like not enough light you can always move the light into it like this so i'm gonna move it a little in front and where i want it to be I'll, like this look how nice and light that looks That looks nice to me. Once you've done once you the effects and what you, what you look like, you can render. But first, if you're going to do the effect at mine and it makes the body to the top, I would recommend not to do the legs because it's going to look ugly. So you you basically zoom into the character well, with your camera, uh, do where you want, and like do a little bit of the legs, not too much because then. If it's too much, it won't look nice in the effects, and if we have no lens, it looks like it's gonna be floating. So a little bit will look nice. Like now, once you do that, you go like this, you do render at the top, right, right at the top. You render right at the top, and you press that. First, you do render image. It's better to do it, not press F12 because it's easier. Then it looks, it's gonna be like this, so you have to wait till. Just wait like a few seconds till it goes. Like all these uh, pixels, like this part, all these around the body. Just wait for it to go, cause it will go soon. Just take your time. Just wait for it to go. Then once you do that, like it's slowly going. Like, like it's gonna do that. Then once you do that, you press X. Press X. Then you go back to the render and go render animation. Then once you, it's gonna take time to come up. Yeah, once you come up, it should come up like this. Now once you come up like this, just wait again. It might do, it might like take some pix pixels away and clear it up. Once you've done this, it should be like that. Just once it should be like that. Yeah, and the pixels are gonna be like this. So now, 
once when you done it looks good you press x again then when you press x you go back to render and press view render and it looks like this a very nice clean g effect now once you've done that the top top it says image you press you do that and press save as then you go into your downloads and do whatever you want like this now i'm gonna name mine first one two three and it's done then you can go into your files and this will come it should be there it open to my 3d viewer well it will, you don't want it to be there it's going to be in your downloads there and look at it it looks perfect look at that it's a nice dfx so that's how to make a dfx and i'll make i'll do another video on how to do a a dfx that has backgrounds that ha that looks very good and nice so this is the, this is how to make it. Bye.